Good morning everyone. Welcome back to Raver's Mead. Just out for a little hack here with Nelly Neil. Uh, trying out my new lights. I hope they're not blinding you too much. I've got a red one on the back as well, if you can see that. <laughs> uh, yeah, it is about half past seven in the morning. It's gorgeous out here, look. It's so nice. It's just about light. It is actually lighter than it looks on the camera. Just look through the back of the screen and it is a bit lighter than it looks on the camera. Uh, but it is only just light, um, hence we've got our lights on. Me and Nelly knew we were going to go for a lovely hack. We were going to go, um, there is a lovely sort of flat fieldy ride we've got local to here. However, look at that up there, all that lovely low cloud and frosty vibes. Uh, so yeah, I spotted that on the way out of the gate and instantly changed my mind and have decided we are going to go up the hill. We're going to go up to Tyndale Monument this morning because it just looks so cool up there. And I want to see if it looks as cool up close as it does from here. So I'm going to pop you guys back in my little holder and I'll see you when we're up the hill. Oh, this is lovely. I have to say it is seriously cold up here. It was about minus three down the stables, I think. Um, it's definitely feeling colder here and we're not even at the top of the hill yet i think we'll uh, i think we'll stick to the woods today where it'll hopefully be a little bit warmer oh yeah so nice up here so so nice um yeah so today uh while we're out and we're having a nice little relaxed on the buckle plod with nelly new here i thought i would just sort of catch you guys up on some of our plans for the year I've been working on our calendar. I've been working on finding sort of show dates and competitions and things like that over the last few weeks. And yeah, the year is starting to take shape quite nicely now. Um, so I've, I've got myself my wall planner. That's actually going to be going up on the whiteboard in the tack room today. That's one of my jobs to do this afternoon. Although I didn't really think it through. I don't know if I have anything to stick it up with. So. I may have to pop to Tesco's at some point and get some blue tack or some tape. Um, well, that's going up on the wall. I've actually got a fair few dates on it already. So we actually have a local dressage venue and uh, it's within hacking distance, like within 10 minutes hacking distance, which is brilliant. And I checked out their website a couple of weeks ago and it turns out that they actually have unaffiliated dressage competitions running every month for the entire year this year, which is super good for me because it means I've got a dressage competition that I can get to every month without having to get a horse in the horse box, without there being lots of traveling or logistics or anything like that. So that's really, really good. I'm really happy about that. Um, I don't do, uh, sorry, I don't do affiliated dressage. I don't feel like uh, we're good enough for it. Like I haven't had a dressage lesson in years, to be quite honest with you. Just because it, like lessons are so expensive, like so, so expensive. And I just don't have the money spare to spend on stuff like that. So yeah, dressage lessons, ridiculously expensive. I mean, riding lessons full stop are mega bucks these days. And I just don't have the money sitting around to do that. Um, which actually leads me on to another topic. I'm going to be doing kind of like a, a series this year. I don't know how well it's going to go, so I may look stupid by the end of this, but I'm going to be uh, conducting a little experiment to see how much we can improve um, the horses, how much I can improve my riding without actually spending any money or going to any lessons. <laughs> Crazy as it sounds, I have a plan. I've been working on it. I will explain more uh, in a later video and fill you in on that one. Oh, do you need a little breather? You okay? That is a big hill, isn't it? I know. Come on, I want you to keep moving. I don't want you to stand still and get cold because it's bitter up here. All your hair's on end already. Yeah, so I keep getting distracted. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Got lots of dressage dates in the diary. There is one for this month, which I'm not even contemplating. Just my riding at the moment is a bit pants. Um, so I think the first one I'm looking at going to is on the 19th of February. And I think Woody is going to be my uh, chosen companion for that event we'll just do prelim uh i know i said last year that i wasn't going to do prelim dressage anymore because i wanted to push myself further but 
yeah, that kind of backfired on me because when I realized I couldn't afford riding lessons to, you know, practice novice leveling up, I kind of just stopped doing dressage. <laughs> That was really bad. So I am I am making an adult decision to remove that rule. We are going to ignore the fact that I ever said that. And yeah, we're going to go do a bit of prelim dressage with a view to uh, doing novice a bit later on in the year. That That's the plan at this point. <laughs> so I've got, got all of those dates on my diary. Oh my goodness, it's so spooky looking up here. It is so cool. It's really like foggy and nice yeah i think we'll stick to the woods nelly oh my goodness oh you're having a poo i don't think we're going to be galloping the ground's a little bit hard i know i'm not usually a fussy mother but i think i have to draw the line somewhere i, I think this is too hard hun i'm sorry we'll see what the ground's like in the woods you might better go for a canter there come on but yeah we just I'm not normally one to fuss over like hard ground and stuff just because they're used to it. They're conditioned to like hacking out trail riding on all sorts of conditions. So I don't usually make a fuss over the ground being hard, but this is exceptionally hard. And my toes are freezing and my thighs are freezing. I wish I put extra trousers and socks on now. I was not expecting it to be this cold up here. Oh, and it's getting colder. Oh man. Wow, that's so cool. Oh, wow. Well, actually, the ground's not that bad. It has got a bit of give in it, actually. Hmm, I'm reconsidering our canter prospect, Nelly. Yeah, this isn't too bad, actually. I suppose we were on quite a gravelly bit in there, so this is, uh, yeah, should we do it? Wow, this is so cool. Sturdy. Oh no, it is a bit slippery. No, I don't, I don't think we can do it, Nelly. I'm sorry. We'll just have to stay at a trot. We're just going to trot. We're not going to go bombing off. Yeah, see, it's slippery. And you're a psychopath. You'll go off at 100 miles an hour. huh yeah definitely no cantering up here today sorry bird right. nice and steady back down the other side and we'll go in the woods have a little walk around the woods oh it's flipping freezing right gentle trot come on let's get off this hill because that is bitter Steady. Oh, I've got to show you guys the view up here. Come on. Come on, let's have a look over here. Wow. Oh, that is so cool. Look at this colour of the sky. Oh, it was so worth getting up at 4.30 today to see this. Wow. <sighs> oh, yes, yeah, too cold to stand here, isn't it? Come on, let's get out of here. Let's go, go back in the trees. All right, we're going to have to walk this, I'm afraid. Good girl. Okay, uh, right, where did I get to in my random trail of thought with planning the year? I think we've done dressage, didn't we? Um, 
Yeah, so it's uh, yeah, it's going to be the boys doing dressage. I think it's mostly going to be Woody. Blue's going to be doing a bit as well. Nelly is just off the cards for um, competing. We might do some like fun rides with her, maybe a little bit of cross country if she's up for it. But she's uh, she's just our hacking fun pony. We've taken her to competitions in the past, and you know she's done okay at it. She's tried her best, bless her, but it's just not her thing. It's just so not her thing. And she hates schooling. She hates going in circles. She really struggles with it. Um, so yeah, you're just my crazy little go fun pony, aren't you? Yeah, and driving, of course. She is uh, an epic driving pony. Although Blue has eaten part of her cart, which is not great. I mean, it did need re. It did need a new seat on it anyway because it had all gone brittle and funny over the years. But yeah, he ate part of it. So <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh dear. <laughs> Um, yeah, so show dates. Um, annoyingly enough, I can never find show dates that early in the year. That is a damn big hole. What the heck? Wow. Rabbits? Rabbits dig holes that big? Badgers? Oh, something dug a big hole. Uh, yeah, showing dates. I can never find many shows announced this early in the year, which kind of frustrates me because I like to know, I like to get stuff in my calendar. Um, early so I can kind of plan. We found a couple of show dates um, so far. So I've got Blue's first show is actually going to be uh, towards the end of March. It's the Wiltshire show. He's going to be going to that one in hand. We actually took him a few years ago and it was a bit of a disaster because there was an epic snowstorm that day. And they actually brought all the showing classes forward. It's one of those shows where most people, it's a two day show, so most people stay over. We went on the second day, so I think they probably just assumed that most people who were gonna be there were already there. We weren't, we only went for the one day. So we turned up after driving through this horrendous snowstorm and found that our classes had already run about an hour before us getting there. So that was a bit irritating. <laughs> so we're gonna take him back to that one this year and hopefully we'll actually get to do some showing. Come on, let's go for a little walk through the woods while we're up here. Come on. You, I know you want to go for a gallop, but it's just not going to happen. It's really quite hard and it's very slippery. It's just not going to happen, babe. <gasps> She's got frost on her whiskers. Oh, I feel so sad. <laughs> She's got little frosticles at the end of them. She's actually got some on her eyebrows as well. Oh. Damn, I didn't realise it was that cold up here. <laughs> oh dear. Anyway, I'm getting distracted again. What am I like, people? <laughs> um, yeah, Wiltshire Show. Mm, I think it's the 25th and 26th of March. So that's going to be Blue's first outing of the year. I'm currently working on his fitness for that one. And then I found, I think I've got the Barclay Show in our calendar already. That They announced their date for that. We've got toys on the calendar. That'll be August. I think that's a four-day show this year, so that'd be pretty cool. I think we're going to um, hire a stable for that and like stay down there for a night or two. We'll, we'll figure it out when we get a bit closer to it. But I actually want to qualify Blue for... Well, try and qualify him for the championships at toys this year. Um, so we took Woody once before and just went in on... So they do like open showing so you can just turn up with no pre-qualification at all and do a showing class and they'll they'll run like it they do like um oh what do they call it like oh, i can't remember what they call it but you can basically qualify for the championship on one of those open days and then they have the championship show on the last day but we really want to take blue to the championship show oh, oh it's nice in here it's a bit warmer in here isn't it Han? Oh, she's got so many obstacles on her whiskers <laughs> Right, let's just do a little loop, I think, and then we'll head back. Should we do a little bit of a uh, little bit of gentle trotting? Gentle trotting, though, okay? Gentle. I want more of a jog, okay? Keep a lid on it, madam. <laughs> um, ah, lost my trail of thought again. Yeah, toys, championships. The plan is to qualify blue this time for the championships and hopefully get to do the big boy show. <laughs> Um, yeah, there's going to be loads of other shows throughout the year as well. I'd really, really, really like, this way, I'd really, really like to go to some county level shows this year. Um, I'm sure we kind of vaguely planned to do it last year and we didn't really get the horse box sorted in time and 
Oh, last year just felt like a bit of a sucky year. I don't know if we just didn't get organized or what went wrong, but yeah, this year, gonna get organized, gonna get all the dates on the calendar. We're gonna sort ourselves out and we're gonna go and absolutely rock it, aren't we, Nelly New? Time that well, wow, didn't we, hun? It's starting to get busy now. Oh, it's so cold. Right, time to go home, get you warm, get those stables finished because I was a bit naughty today. I bailed halfway through mucking out to come up here, didn't we? But it was so worth it.